Hello everyone, so today I'm here with a very easy recipe. It turns out delicious and honestly it is a winter essential at my home. And this recipe is of banana bread. I hope you guys enjoy it, try it and let us know how did it turn out. First I'm going to tell you all of the ingredients and then we'll start off with the recipe. This is one and a half cup of plain flour. This is one by third cup of butter. It can be salted or unsalted, doesn't make a difference. This is one by third cup of granulated sugar. Uh, it weighs up to 110 grams. So if you have a weighing, uh, if you have a measuring scale, you can also weigh the ingredients instead of uh, using the measuring cups. These are walnut halves. You can also uh, cut them into pieces. They weigh up to 90 grams. Yeah, they weigh up to 90 grams. This is one egg. We will have to beat it. This is only 15 grams of cooking chocolate. You can also use chocolate chips. Instead, chocolate chips are in the original recipe. I did not have them, so I'm using cooking chocolate, which is cut into pieces. This is one teaspoon of baking powder. If you do not have baking powder at home, you can also use half teaspoon of baking soda doesn't make a difference these are two ripe bananas and they weigh up to 90 grams so please make sure that the bananas are not more than 90 to 95 grams because then the taste of the bananas is going to be very overpowering and this is half a teaspoon of vanilla essence so these are all of our ingredients and now let's start with the recipe so first we're going to mix up the wet ingredients and what I love about the banana bread recipe is that there are no hard and fast rules. So if you ever think that uh, nothing works out when you're baking, then you need to try making a banana bread. So I'm going to use a fork for this one. Yeah, I will have to beat it just a bit and then I will add the bananas into it so first we will be mixing up all the wet ingredients uh, we'll try to mash the banana you can also mash them first and then mix them into the egg but I do whatever makes sense to me as I told you banana bread is one recipe that you need to start off baking with it is really basic and there's not any particular consistency of the batter that we are looking for. Okay, so I have this mixed up as much as I could. Um, I do wish I had uh, mashed the bananas at first. Now I'm going to add the butter into it. The butter has to be at room temperature for it to be mixed into the wet ingredients so this is 80 grams of butter it can be salted or unsalted uh, 80 grams of butter is actually one by third cup of uh, butter so as I told you uh, nothing has to be very smooth in this recipe uh, the texture can be chunky it it doesn't really make a difference so don't worry about it okay so I have this mixed up I used a fork you can use an egg beater and you can also use a hand mixer so it doesn't have to be very smooth but just needs to be well mixed up so essentially we are supposed to add dry ingredients into the wet ingredients but because my uh, flour bowl is way bigger than the one i took for my wet ingredients i'm going to do the opposite uh, doesn't really make a difference but just 
letting you letting you guys know that I'm doing the opposite. So don't call me out on that, please. Okay, so this was one and a half cup of flour, and we are mixing it up. I'm going to fold in the flour into the wet ingredients. Just during this time, we're going to add one by three, one by third of a cup of granulated sugar, which weighs up to 110 grams. So the batter of the banana bread is very thick. And Just making sure that I got all of it. So I removed some of the things because they were just occupying space. I'm trying to mix up the wet and the dry ingredients. As I told you, the, the consistency is going to be really thick. So it's going to be a bit hard to mix. But we're going to try and try and try. Okay. Um, now we will add the baking powder just trying to make sure that it is well mixed now adding the walnuts So we just need to mix it appropriately and see such an easy, re easy recipe. We are done with the banana bread. We just need to put it in the oven now. Okay, so this one is well mixed. I again uh, removed some of the things to make room. And this is a typical eight by five inches uh, pan for banana breads or any type of breads, which I have lined with a parchment paper. I'm not going to grease it because I never do. If you want to, you can. The banana bread doesn't really stick um, to the paper. So I, I don't grease it. So we're going to transfer this thick mixture into the pan. We're done. These chocolates we're just going to add these in a layer at the top. Um, you can also add Nutella. There are so many different versions of the banana bread now. People also make chocolate banana bread. So for that you will just have to add cocoa powder to the mixture. And this goes into the oven. I'll tell you the time and the temperature, but the oven has to be preheated. I'll tell you the specific time just now, and we will see as I put it into the oven. Okay, so I have the oven heated at 180 degrees Celsius. It either has to be at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. 
and you're going to put the pan at the bottom third of the oven so this is the bottom third of the oven i'm putting it right inside and we're going to be baking it for at least 45 to 50 minutes it takes a lot of time but it is worth the wait so we will see the results just in some time